In this video, I am going to show you how you can take any product and create the best quality ads using a unique workflow, including a bunch of AI tools and a sprinkle of creativity. Best thing is, once done, you can change your ad to any language. Here is the same ad in French, and this one here is in Swedish. I will also cover three important things to include in your product page for increasing sales and conversions. Now, this workflow that I'm using includes AliExpress, DCRs, Shopify, Photoshop, ChatGPT, Runway Gen 3, Suno, Eleven Labs and CapCut for the editing. However, if you're only interested in creating stunning ads, you will only need these tools here. Don't worry, I will guide you through every step. By the end of this video, I promise you that you will have learned at least one new thing. So let's start with the products. Most people use AliExpress or Amazon for dropshipping. You can pick any product image. I picked the rubber boots because in August, September and October, there are huge demands for rubber boots. You can use something like Google Trends to see the general interest of a product or topic over time. This tool is so underrated and the best thing is that it's totally free and you can filter by country and even region. The data can be trusted since it's straight from the source, which is Google. If we do a quick search on rubber boots and change the filter to worldwide and the period all the way back since 2004, we see a clear pattern. This is what humans are great at finding patterns. So the interest is usually highest from August all the way to November. So rubber boots is a great choice right now. All right, once you've picked a product, our next mission is to find a few good images that we can use for our ad. For my product, I found a bunch of really good images in various angles and colors. I used a few of these for the ads and the rest for the product landing page, which I'll get into in a bit. Now for the next step, I will use Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use Canva or any outpainting tool. There is a great one inside of openart.ai if you want to use that. So all I did here is select the border and background of the image and use the generative fill inside of Photoshop. You don't need to write anything, just generate. Once it has completed the task, choose one of the three variations that you like the best. I picked this one. Now we are ready for the fun stuff. To turn our images into video or animation, we're going to use an image to video AI model. This means we give an AI model an image, write a short description of what we want to see happen in the video, and the AI does the rest for us. I have made a lot of videos on my channel about different AI video models, and there are a few really good ones, and they are all great for different use cases. For our cause, which is to create colorful VFX ads, the best one is Gen3 from Runway. ML. If you want a free alternative, try Pika or Luma AI. They are not as good as Gen3 for our exact purpose, but they give you the option to upload an image and turn it into a video for free. I have made entire animations and short movie trailers using these tools, so don't underestimate them just because they're free to use. To create the VFX effects for our ad and turn our image into a video, I'll go to runwayml.com and use Gen3. Now here's the part where you'll need to be creative and write what you want to happen in the video. I will write four different prompts and we'll see in a bit what we get. I'll start with something that's related to nature and earth elements, like greenery, flowers and plants growing and leaves blowing, the effects, studio ad, cinematic. That's my prompt. I'll also try out one with water effects and another adding fire and sparkles. Worth mentioning, they have a list of presets for various camera motions and angles that you can use. If you end up using Gen3, make sure you experiment with these presets because they give you a really good effect. Now let's see what we got. This is the first one with the plants and flowers. The effects look great, however we have the blue rain boot disappearing in the background. We can still use this video, we just need to cut out and skip the first part. The flowers and physics look great and the most important part here is the consistency. The only reason we can use this content is because the product maintains the same appearance even though the camera zooms in. It's still not perfect, but we're getting closer with every update. In this video, the color and the tone of the boot is changing from transparent to white. There are some morphing and reshaping of the boots, but we can get away with it because the ad we're creating has an abstract and trippy vibe to it. Sometimes you need to turn the weaknesses into strengths. And with that philosophical sentence, let's smoothly transition to the next part of this video, which is creating the sound effects and background music for our ad. 
Now this only gets easier from here because for this step we're going to use Son AI to generate the background music and I'll show you a crazy feature inside of 11 Labs for the sound effect. I will not waste too much time on this part because it's pretty straightforward. Son AI is free and once you've created your account you can write a description or give it a few sentences of lyrics to generate the song. This is really cool and there are entire channels and pages making a lot of money reacting to songs that Suno creates. I've heard that it's supposed to be really good at country songs. For our ad however, I want something that's peaceful and innocent for adding a contrast to the visuals and creating a balance. So only instrumentals and no lyrics. Less is more and minimalistic is the trend currently so we need to put some elements of that into our ad as well. After a few attempts I created this beautiful choir that will be perfect as the background music for our ad. Now we need to connect the sound and the visuals by adding some sound effects. Sound effects are really important because they emphasize and add depth to what the visuals are trying to show. Many beginners tend to underestimate the overall experience and effect it can have on the content they create. I am not gonna lie, I am not the best at it myself, but I have started to prioritize it and put more time into adding sound effects while editing my videos. And here is a new sound effect for you while we switch to the next part. Which is how to create sound effects like that using AI. Eleven Labs is famous for its voice cloning and text-to-speech ability, where you write a sentence and an AI voice or a clone of your own voice will repeat that sentence. Eleven Labs is known for generating human-like voices with variations in the tone and a few more options that you can play around with. Don't forget to subscribe to Snowball AI now. Don't forget to subscribe to Snowball AI now. I have even cloned my voice using this tool. In fact, the entire sound so far has been generated using 11 Labs. But for our ad, we'll have no voice. Instead, we're gonna head over to the sound effect page by clicking on sound effect on the menu. And now it's time to be a little creative again. So looking at our video, let's see what makes noise. Well, it's pretty obvious that the colorful jelly will make some noise. There are also bubbles forming. So some watery liquid and bubbles forming and popping sounds. In the end, these are the sound effects that I generated from 11 Level Labs. Now for the last step I usually use Adobe Premiere but for the purpose of this video and making sure that you spend as little as possible creating professional and high quality ads I will use CapCut instead. It's free to use and you can do almost anything using this simple yet incredibly powerful video editor. The UI is really great and beginner friendly. They have music, sound effects and even transition effects that you can use to create better content. There are some features and transitions that you can pay for if you want. However, I've created a lot of content, including the ad in this video, and I'm still using the free version. Money don't grow on trees, so use it wisely. For a fraction of that price, you can buy my complete guide for creating ads, including sound effects, prompts, camera angles, and motions instead. The link is in the description below, and if you know and understand the value of being able to create ads like this, you will know that a customer or client pays at least $100 to $200 for an ad like this. I have clients that pay me more than $3,000 for similar but longer ads, and it's nothing compared to what it would cost them only a few years ago. If you have a good ad and product, you can bring in 20 times that amount in the short term and even more than that in the long term if you know what you're doing. I have had clients where I feel bad that I didn't charge more because of the amount of money they made using the ads that I created for them. I know we shouldn't be greedy, but it's the truth. So after using a bunch of AI tools and being a little creative, this is the ad that we managed to pull off. After the video, I will also share the three important things to include in your product pages and here we go. Alright, it came out decent, I could have worked a little more on the sound effects, but it's great for this video. Now let me show you the product page and a few things to consider if you want to increase your sales and conversions. The first thing here is these icons that you probably have on your e-commerce store. A few tips on that, always put them above the price of the product. This way the customer gets answers and clarifications to a few general objections and inner thoughts one can have before purchasing a product, like how long does the shipping take? 
If it's free return included, this usually indicates that the store is confident in its own products and they don't want to give you a headache if you choose to return the product. Lastly, I have this icon here suggesting that these products are chosen with care and because of their quality. And if I hover the mouse over these titles, you'll see that I have turned them into internal links and that will take you to the correct page for each of these topics. So for this one, I have the shipping policy. This one here takes them to the refund and return policy. The last one takes my customers to the about us page. And this doesn't only build trust with the customers, it is also good for SEO purposes and ranking higher on search engines like Google, which brings in organic traffic. This also shows that we're proud of the way things are on our store. Here, read about it if you're interested. The next important thing is including unique selling points that are only for your product. So if you use something like Hotjar, which is a great tool to record and generate heat maps on your website to see where most visitors click and which sections they spend most time in, you will find that many customers scroll down on a product page. It's like they want to be sold on why to buy the product. Now at this phase, they've already clicked on your video, ad or link, so now they need that extra push. This is where these sections here come in. I have added three different images of our product and written a unique selling point for each part. For this product, the first one is that it's adjustable. It will fit perfectly no matter the thickness of the pants or if only wearing socks, while protecting from dirt and water even from above. The second one is that it has a unique transparent design which brings joy and happiness perfect for kids. Lastly, we have the protection it brings by being completely waterproof and having an anti-slippery texture so that your kid stays dry and safe no matter the weather condition. These three extra selling points is incredibly powerful and makes your product page look more beautiful, professional and increase the probability of a customer purchasing. For the last tip, I want to talk about this section down here beneath the reviews. This here is great for SEO purposes because you answer the most likely asked questions about your specific product or topic. So in this case, I have put 10 frequently asked questions about rubber boots or rain boots. And it includes answers to questions like how much bigger of a size should you pick when buying rain boots? Spoiler alert, it's always great to buy at least half a size to one size bigger. Another one is how to wash and take care of these boots and a bunch of other questions. The great thing about these frequently asked questions is that it can end up as a rich result on Google and that will dominate certain keywords which will definitely bring in a lot of organic traffic. Here are multiple rich results for my website on Google using only SEO techniques. If you would like to know more about SEO and how to increase organic traffic to your website using legit practical methods, let me know in the comment section below and I might create more videos around that. Maybe even go into how to build your own general store that can be used for testing products for dropshipping and bring in passive income for the long term. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have watched all the way to the end, I truly appreciate it and you're a legend. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.